good. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> this is Mark Atobri here. Going to be reviewing this workout that I did with Anna McManamy, who is a WBFF pro bikini athlete. She is one hell of an athlete, trains very, very hard, great movement patterns. And um, in the A1, A2 series, basically what we're doing here is a seated neutral grip uh, shoulder press. Uh, movement's pretty good. She, she moves very well. I, I really do enjoy training Anna because she trains hard and she's got good body awareness. A uh, little bit more extension through the thoracic, possibly with the, the dumbbell press and, and straightening her arms a little bit, um, which I'm trying to get her to do when we're doing this. So uh, mostly it's good. And then with the lap pull down, what I'm doing is I've used a neutral grip, uh, basically neutral grip, narrow handle and getting her to retract. Neutral grip, you can use a lot more weight. Um, you can see here that she's not she's not retracting uh, as hard and as good as, as I would have liked. Um, she can, uh, in the later sets, I get her retracting more, but she, she's a little bit trappy in this. Uh, so I try and get her to use her lats a bit more, trying to get her retract, pull through her rhomboids. But yeah, she's a little bit trappy um, and that's why I've got my hand on her shoulders, just trying to get her to cure, pull everything down. Ah, uh, we have a bit of a bicep off, always fun have a bicep off with bikini athletes because you're always a lot bigger haha <laughs> so anyway round two so we look at we look at this here and see how she's she's moving she's retracting she's pulling down a lot better on this set here you can see that she's, she's a lot less trappy and obviously for bikini competitors we don't want to develop the traps that's for sure start of the workout the a1 a2 um, really getting her to use her lats and, and overload the lats so we did go fairly heavy we worked up to a fairly maximal weight um, as she's smiling there on, on the lat pull down, just to overload, just really want to overload the lats um, and overload the back. So she came in with a little bit of shoulder issues as you can see in the video here, um, she's complaining. So we did some accessory work, uh, what, what we call the big three. Yeah, we're doing the exercises now, the, the big three. Big three again was an exercise taught to me by um, Andrew Locke. So you do 10 sets, uh, sorry, 10 sets, 10 reps of a T, T raise, and then you do 10 reps of a basically hands by your side, shoulder flexion, um, pronated, and then shoulder flexion supinated. And that uh, really does fire up the shoulders, fires up the back, gets you recruiting the right muscles in the right order. Um, so we're activating correctly. That's what we're really after here. So yeah, we do a few sets of those. That really works. Um, the way we normally, the way I normally advise to do this is, the way I normally advise to do it, uh, well, number one, one thing I should say is, I instruct the client when they're on the floor, imagine that you're on the Rialto Tower and the Rialto Tower is made out of thin glass. So when you come down, don't crash down. If you crash down, the glass breaks and you die and you fall to your death. So we don't want to fall to our death. We want to bring the dumbbells down slowly and carefully. So that's super, super important. So yeah, we usually do, I like to do three sets at either the start of the workout or the end of the workout. I do use this as an activation for the shoulders. You might be saying, what do you mean activation? Now the shoulders are already activated? Well, no, not really. I mean, the thing is people come out, you know, it's the whole thing of warm up. Yeah, the brain needs to engage with the body parts. So part of this is, is helping people find like, what do you mean by staying tight through the shoulders and activating those muscles? So when you go back to a shoulder press, overhead press, you know, all, all the stabilizer muscles are switched on and um, they're nice and stable. And part of that is also the tricep. So I think she even says, oh, my tricep is flexing up in this. Yeah, absolutely. So the tricep also helps stabilize the shoulder, which is something that a lot of people don't really pay attention to or think about. Um, you know, I've got a good uh, myotherapist friend, Phil, uh, and he, you know, he, he actually taught me that, um, you know, a lot of shoulder issues can actually come from the tricep or the bicep. So, you know, in shoulder stability, I always look at, you know, tricep, bicep, um, tendons, for example, to make sure the shoulder health is, is quite, is, is good, right? And I don't know what I'm explaining there, but let's just roll with it. So now I'm explaining that, um, Anna is, has got a wing scap. So her scap is, is quite winged. Um, this is just a quick test that I get people to do, see whether the scap is winged or not. Her scap is winged, which means she's got poor scapular control. Don't worry, Anna, I do too. The more you train, uh, you know, the imbalances come on. So, you know, if she wanted to get a bench press up, which obviously she's a bikini competitor, so why the hell should, would she want her bench press up um, is beyond me. But if she did, uh, we need to get that shoulder more control. So the scap isn't stable. It does flare out when she puts her hand behind her back, which is a very simple test that you use for scapular control. So serratus anterior is often responsible for that. So strengthening the serratus anterior, because that's where the... Um, I don't remember the muscle, but that's where it inserts, for, inserts two. So the scap is, is controlled. So you need the serratus anterior to be strong to control the scapula. Um, so now we head back into the workout. So 
We have a giant set that's coming up. So it's four exercises and we're doing arny presses. So the way we do arny presses is as I've just rearranged Anna's hands, is I've put the dumbbell straight in front of her face and then she's up and straight over the head. Now, if you look at her right arm, she's not extending the elbow as much as I would have liked. I would have liked that a little bit more straight. Um, I, I am quite a stickler for form. You know, I'm not one of these people who just load, load, load. Although, you know, obviously you need heavy weights, but it's heavy weights moved well to reduce injury. So the elbow, I think, is the shat shoulder particularly. I think it's coming from the tricep for Anna. It's given a little bit of grief. That's why she's probably not ex extending um, as good as I would have liked. So she's not straight up overhead. You can see she's stopping short on those movements. But that's, that's the A1. It's not preventing her. Now, <laughs> this is funny because... I got her the, the mag grip handle, so it's the maximum advantage grip. I really love the maximum advantage grip handles for bikini competitors um, because that way it just it cuts out any any kind of real grip issues, but also makes the scap work super hard. But I got the super wide one for her in this workout, and the reason why I did that is I really wanted to hit the lats and wanted to hit the lats hard. So we'll get some camera different camera angles of this, and you'll see her lats working from behind. But you know she just gets wider and wider and wider during this workout. You see a beautiful. V shape um, from behind. See, so everything's working, lats are working nice. So, getting her to do, I think we're doing 12, 15 reps here. Arnie presses, we did 12 reps, 10, 12 reps. So, we did 15 reps here. Now, we move into this. I love this. this thing I just came up with um, just because I'm a, I don't know, a bastard, I suppose. But I came up with this. So, a mermaid press. A lot of people do mermaid presses, but I kind of got the idea from the mermaid press. Um, but mermaid lat raises. So, I've got to do mermaid lat raises and she's sitting on the floor, can't use any legs. A lot of people love to bounce with a lat raise, so this is really making her work those down. So what I've just done there is I've pulled her back from the side, so she really has to use the lateral head of the delts. So delts are really firing now. Um, could rotate her elbows just a little bit more, but it's working. You can see those delts working. Just keep it from the side, and if she does come too far forward, you can see how I'm pushing her back to make sure it's just side delt. But really what I want here is I want her shoulders to grow. I'm just thinking about side delts, get the side delts to grow. When she stands up on stage, pop. Those delts come out, it enhances her figure. The bigger her shoulders are, the smaller her waist will look, the tighter her, her tummy will look, um, and, and the better the better she'll, you know, aesthetically will, will portray. So stand up, she does as many as she can sitting down, then we stand up and she does the same thing. So I push forward, I get her to engage the abs, I get her to roll the hips forward, and she has to aim at my hand. So everyone wants to come a little bit too far forward on this, right? So I make them come so they have to use the side down. You can see there, she's really using the side down now. She's too far forward, no side down. So that's what I'm watching for. You know, it's not just random, you know, I'm putting my hands here or doing this. Everything I do on a workout has a specific purpose and reason. She could be a little bit tighter. She's bouncing a little bit, but that's okay. She, it's, she's getting quite tired here. So getting her to cheat a little bit. Um, to get the reps up, but everything has a very, very specific purpose when we do it. It's not random. And then straight back in. So this would be, well, really A5, uh, sorry, B5. Um, this is a narrow maximum advantage grip. It's just leaning a little bit too far back. I uh, want to really use her scap here. So keep her hips still, keep her knees still. So you can see my hand on her knees to get her knees not moving because I don't want her to bend her knees. As you can see, she's doing a little bit. She's bending and breaking at the knees. Um, I don't want that. I want her knees to stay exactly still, her hips to stay still. And my instruction there is crush my fist with your scap. So as I get her to come back, that's what my cueing is. Now I've got a knee, a knee in her back to really help her keep up tall because I don't want her to lean back. If she leans back, she's going to start using lower back. I want the lever point. As you can see here now, she's really having to work for it because she can't sway back, right? When people sway back, they're putting the load, they're offsetting the load into the lower back. That's not what I want. I want the load directly. Now, this is an awesome one. Not my bicep, but my bicep is pretty awesome. Come on, folks. Um, this is one that I do for the redoubts. So it's a, it's a, it's a cool one. Um, she was pretty fried at this point, so it probably wasn't the most effective thing to do it, but you can see her redoubts are activating, I'm helping her out a bit. But super wide grip, um, pull down, super wide grip, and it's not all the way up. It's just basically get some reps, get some activation, get the lats firing, uh, get the redoubts firing. Because I do fire when you do a wide grip, so I'm getting to do a wide grip without any retraction. But she looks great. She actually came in, I thought she was a little bit flat, and then after this workout, wow, she just like, popped up, shoulders looking tremendous, um, everything just really came in, just you know, filled out amazingly during this workout. So I was pretty happy with the way this workout went. So what we're doing here is a rear doubt combination that I really like. And again, just instructing to keep it, keep it forward. You know, I don't want that to come behind. It needs to be in the rear doubt. A lot of people will start using rhomboids and lats and rotating. So I'm really just instructing her to keep super, super tight and keep in the rear doubt. You can see it, you see it in the video here. 
uh, the readouts are working. I'm keeping the, the, the arm in front of the body, the elbow in line with the ear. It's what I'm looking for and no rotation. So a lot of the time you've got to go a lot lighter than you think. And I'm also using this as a neutral grip. So a lot of people will, will approach a rear doubt and they will use like a like the grip that's the palm facing. Um, so what I get people to do is, is kind of the neutral grip. And as you can see, she's rotating a little bit here. So the set's pretty much over. So we change arms and you see that readout working. So it's not a huge motion and you can see I get to get a stop short. A lot of people come all the way in, which is really just, I suppose, the back is taking over if you do that. You can see in the behind, there's not a lot of weight. We've used one brick, but you can see how much she struggles. Um, because again, the readout, it's not a big muscle, folks. It's not a big muscle. If you're using it correctly, um, you know, and readout activating it, it's not a big muscle. So. You know, you've got to lock it in. So Anna, I think we had a great workout. Um, I know I had a lot of fun. I think Anna had a lot of fun. And um, that was round one. So we did four rounds of um, basically. So what we did was five rounds, not five rounds, four rounds of A1 and A2, which was the shoulder press and the um, lap pull down. And then that was the narrow lap pull down. And then we did um, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. And we did th four rounds of that. And then we did uh, two ra three rounds of the rear delts. And then we finished off with this, which was a Y raise. So it's a 45 degree Y raise. I really love this one. This is great for posture. Thoracic, ex well, not, it really shouldn't be thoracic extension. If you've got good thoracic extension, which Anna does, you can kind of cheat the movement. But um, as the French would say, uh, you want to be using your trap three on this, or as kind of more traditionally in Western and westernized strength circles, you kind of just really look at it as more rhomboids. But um, yeah, really activating and um, yeah, so what I'm doing there is getting her to flex her abs because if she doesn't flex her abs, she switches her abs off and she uses thoracic extension to get up. I don't want thoracic extension, I want her coming straight up and I want the tension to be uh, in her upper back. So that's what I'm really, and I'm just assisting, helping the brain figure out where the end range is. So what I'm looking at here is what I want her bicep always to be over her ear always to be over her ear. So again, folks, I'm not just training her randomly, like getting her to do a bunch of exercises, you know, for the hell of it, everything has a purpose. So you can see here, extending above her ear, getting her to hold. So actually I'm getting her to pause for four seconds and I'm counting four, three, two, one. Always checking in, always always poking people, making sure that the abs are on. You can see she's working very, very hard. And see, she, what she did then was beautiful. She flexed her abs, she flexed her bum, she kept tight and then extended up. But that's the way to do it. If you wanna train, uh, WBFF pros, if you want to train any professional athlete, um, you know, you, you got to be on it. you got to be on it, folks. you got to be on it. There's no, you know, with me, there's no, um, there's no chance. It's, it's everything is done and done for a reason. And there has to be a reason behind the programming. So she's losing her bum a little bit there. You know, I would like her just flexing the bum harder, but you just got to keep on it. And I'll just show her this. This is for the video, but this is shoulder extension. It's a movement that is hardly ever done. I learned this from Christopher Summers from the gymnastics body circle and it's really implemented into the physique coaching world. So not a whole lot of physique coaches or bikini competitor coaches, you know, that would be doing this movement, but I think it's amazing. I really do. There's not a lot of people who can do it and you want to do it with caution. But as you can see, as I'm talking through it, flex your bum, flex your abs, and then you're extending up through the shoulder. The better flexibility you have, the closer your hands can come. So that's just a stick and I've got a 1.25 kilo on it. So my biceps are flexing up, triceps are flexing up, chest is flexing up and just using shoulder extension. Again, shoulder extension is just a movement that isn't done. But if you want that extra bit of detail in your upper back and muscles where most people don't have muscles, shoulder extension, it's, it's what it's about. So Anna grabs it with a, um, the reverse grip, you want that grip there, which is um, what would you call supinated grip. So it's supinated grip and then out for the sh correct shoulder extension. And she does it perfectly, she does it really well. So over time, um, she's got her abs on, that's fantastic. Those hands will come in closer, there's no doubt. But you'll see a lot of gym gymnasts do this movement. You won't see a lot of bikini competitors do this movement. Um, but I think it's a real shame, I think it's a real shame. So you'll see, you'll see my uh, people who I work with, you'll see them do shoulder extension because it's, um, it's great, it's really a great movement. So, um, you know, shoulder health, stabilizing you can see that you can see her rear delts working you can see everything flexing up and that's just the detail that she's going to have on stage that other competitors won't and she burns out pretty fast because again she's not used to this movement um so you can see like yeah she's done uh fried fried completely from that movement and um you know it, it is a great one so as i said anna and i we have a lot of fun in our workouts i uh, hope you enjoyed that if you have 
uh, I suppose any questions on working out or want to see me take someone else through a different workout, drop us a line here. You can shoot it at info at enterprisefitness.com.au from the email, but who emails these days? Jump on our social media, Enterprise Fitness Melbourne on Instagram or Enterprise Fitness Melbourne on Facebook. And uh, let us know what you think of the video. Post your comments below. Hope you enjoyed. My name is Mark Tobri, owner and director of Enterprise Fitness. I take training seriously. Till I speak to you next time, train hard, supplement smart, and eat well.